Hi everyone, Kristen Roberts with United Way of East Central Iowa. It's that season of the year in which we reflect back what we have accomplished over the past 365 days. Our fiscal year turns over and we start to look ahead to what we want to accomplish in the next year. And when we celebrate and look back as to what we were able to accomplish this past year, it's pretty exciting. See, the foundation for the work that we did this past year was actually laid years prior. About three years ago, United Way, as a network, committed itself to deeper work within diversity, equity, and inclusion within its communities. And we also, two years ago, researched our five county area's greatest needs. And it's the intersection of those two things and one of the ways in which we are very proud of the work that we did this past year. See, we went into this past year knowing that we had a new RFP with our partner agencies coming up. We knew that that had to incorporate racial and ethnic equity within it. And we also knew that we wanted to incorporate the top needs within our community when we were looking as to how we are going to invest within our community. And you know those top areas very well if you watch these videos. It is affordable housing, childcare, access to healthcare, and safety net services. And our solutions of economic mobility, childhood success, access to healthcare, and safety net services. So we had a clear, real distinction when it came to the priorities and where we wanted our funding to go. And that really, again, is around those Unite to Inspire strategies. And what we ended up doing was we ended up having a lot of great deep conversations and creative thought processes for us to be able to dismantle our old RFP process and rebuild a new RFP process for where we're going to invest in the community. One that fits where we want to be and one that fits with what we needed to accomplish in our communities. So really, the prioritization of funding when it comes to housing and where we had done a lot of work in brainstorming for resolutions around the tough issues we see with homeless populations and affordable housing in our community, that all culminated with our RFP process this past year. With those Unite to Inspire strategies at the top of our list and where we knew we wanted to make change in our community, we have now gone from funding five programs around housing, mostly in crisis situations, to now moving forward to funding 12 different programs that really span the spectrum of housing from crisis to stable. What we hope and what we expect to see happen is in three years from now, when we move forward, we are going to see a completely different change when it comes to housing within our community. That's the intentions and that's what happens when you create the solutions and we can fund them. And we actually had some partner agencies who commended us on this. They said, hey, when funders ask for change, it happens. United Way, we built the solutions with our community together as a whole. And then we said, these are the areas we want to be able to fund in. And that's where the community change is going to happen. And the long term success is what we're going to be able to see. I really hope what you're hearing from me right now is United Way is not about funding programs and we're not just about funding nonprofits. It's about the solutions as a whole. And that takes more than just the funding. It takes the ability to create those solutions together as a community to say, I can do this and we can do this and we can come together to pull this piece in. And that's then where we can create that change moving forward. That when you invest in United Way is what we do. And we think we're gonna see some great change from the simple little RFP process. I shouldn't say simple, my coworkers might say it was a lot more work than simple, but that one piece of our work. Because in the end, the community investments is a piece of our work. We also have other pieces that create this beautiful gear system that moves together. You may hear of it through VIDA, our volunteer income tax assistance. You may hear of it through Women United who work on access to healthcare in our community. You may hear about it through BOLD, where we're building up new board members for our nonprofit community. Those are all the gears that move together with that community investment piece. And again, when you invest in United Way, that is what you're investing in, and that is what we have to celebrate from the last 365 days. So thank you so much for believing in us, for believing in our community. We are proud to be able to say we have accomplished a lot, and we're gonna look ahead to accomplish more. Thank you again, have a great day.